the YouTube, internet, whoever's watching. Um, and make a quick video here. Um, we got actually a request to, to make this. So I'm just gonna post this for everybody. Um, some questions on how this tank works. Uh, this is a 2012 volt back up. So if you get the service high voltage charging system error, this is how the coolant reservoir works, how the sensor works, where it's located. Um, actually bought some spare parts. I ended up not needing them. So anyways, here's kind of an explanation. So here's the, the tank in the car, and this is your anti-tamper bracket, which is completely useless. Just peel that back and you take the cap off. Um, like I said in another video, if you want to feel, if you're feeling useless or down about yourself, just look at this. This thing has zero purpose in life. Anyways, this uh, silver loomed wire right here on some cars is a dealer installed option. Sometimes that can be a problem. This wiring on this particular car is absolute crap. It's done by a dealer. Um, I actually had to go through and fix part of it. Uh, my other 2012 volt, it was done at the factory. Uh, it seems to be much better. But anyways, uh, here's a tank in the car. Uh, here's a spare tank I bought off of I don't know, eBay or Rock Auto something a while ago. And here's a sensor in it. So <clears throat> what happens is when the coolant level is low, I should have done this before doing the video. When the coolant level is low, you'll see a float in there, a little piece of kind of different color white plastic. There's a magnet in there. Um, when the coolant gets low, uh, you see my finger down the back side. Oops. When the coolant gets low, this magnet comes close to the sensor, um, and the resistance on the sensor changes. If the magnet is close to it, it just switches from, I can't remember, 37 kilo ohms to 14 kilo ohms, something like that. Um, I used to know. Uh, so, <laughs> I've, been, I've been through about everything on this on service high voltage charging system. So this is the sensor itself. It is not part of the tank. Uh, this is totally sealed. This is the sensor, um, and it just slides in here. Uh, it's much easier to see here outside of the vehicle, obviously, than down here. But you can feel around. Uh, I've done it several times on <laughs> between the two cars. Uh, you can feel around. You can feel the, this release. You can pop it loose. Um, putting it back in is kind of tricky. You kind of got to get this just right um, to get it back in. But anyways, this is where the coolant goes. Um, when that, that level drops, the magnet comes close. This is the sensor. The sensor is not part of the tank. Um, mine actually came with the tank. Um, it surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but it is GM part number 229 22224. Um, I got a bunch of them, three of them now. So you can order this separately. I've done it obviously twice now. Um, and we're, it apparently comes with this tank that I just that I ordered and didn't use, but I have a spare of. So it's definitely a separate part, definitely a separate part, separate part number. To replace this, you do not have to replace the tank. If the shop is telling you that, show them this video, they're full of crap.